GCSE Maths compound interest finding the initial amount in just under two minutes. Let's go. This is a super common compound interest question, but it would trip a lot of students up. Let's have a look. It says, given that Phil earned £24,000 this year and got a 7% pay rise at the end of the previous two years, calculate how much he earned two years ago. So this question, instead of giving us our initial amount, it actually gives us our end amount and asks us to calculate our initial amount. Let's have a look. Remember, our compound interest formula tells us that our end amount is equal to our initial amount multiplied by 1 plus our interest rate as a decimal raised to the power of t, where t is our number of time periods. Let's fill in our information and see what we have. We've got our end amount, 24,000. So we have 24,000. And that's equal to our initial amount, which we're trying to work out the amount two years ago multiplied by one plus our interest rate is a decimal, 7% as a decimal divided by 100 is going to be 0 0.07. And we're raising that to the power of t, our number of time periods. He got a 7% pay rise twice. So our time period is going to be two. Now we can see that we have an equation which we can solve to find i. At the moment, i, our initial amount is being multiplied by one plus 0 0.07 squared. So we're going to divide both sides by that. We're going to have I equals 24,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.07 raised to the power of 2, which we can bing into our calculator. And when we do that, we're going to get 20,962 pounds and 53 pence, rounding that to 2DP. That, guys, is going to be our initial amount. You could check that if you wanted to by increasing this by 7% twice, and you would see that we would end up with 24,000, so we know we must be right.